The federal a statutory holiday, also known as Orange Shirt Day, was established just last year. Uh, the wearing of symbolic orange shirts uh, comes from the story of an Aboriginal female writer who recounted having a new orange shirt bought by her grandmother taken away from her when she was sent to one of the residential schools. The orange shirt has become a symbol of the denial of identity, language, culture and even dignity of Indigenous people at residential schools. Marking the day, Canadians dressed in orange walked from Parliament Hill in Ottawa to a park in front of the Canadian War Museum, where a banner was displayed with the names of the 4,100 victims, encouraging people to learn about the tragedy and continue the search for truth. The Indian residential school system was established by the Canadian government in 1870 under the Indian Act, with the last residential school closing as late as 1996. According to a statement issued by Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, uh, at least 150,000 First Nations, Inuit and Métis children were forcibly removed from their families and communities between 1831 and 1998 to attend residential schools, where they had to abandon their languages, cultures, spiritualities, traditions and identities. Many experienced physical, emotional, and even sexual abuse, and thousands never came home. In university, really, because it kept the truth away from us, and, and it was just painful for them to speak on uh, to the children, uh, like their grandchildren, and some, a lot of us just didn't know. In May 2021, the remains of 215 Indigenous children were discovered at a former residential school in Kamloops in Western Canada shocking Canada and the world. In June that year, the Canadian government established the National Day of Truth and Reconciliation.